Okay, so something that um, we need to go over but also might serve as a nice little refresher from last time um, is I can ask you how many atoms something has. Now, atoms are just, if you want to think of them as individual pieces of an element. Um, and that, that might be a little misleading, um, but in pictures that you've seen of molecules drawn, right, if you've seen like a water molecule drawn like this, in a water molecule, H2O, those are two hydrogen atoms connected to one oxygen atom. So H2O has two atoms of the element hydrogen and one atom of the element oxygen. Um, that will matter for other things we're doing moving forward. So in MgCl2, there is not a subscript for magnesium. That tells me I have one atom of magnesium. There is a subscript of two on the chlorine. That tells me I have two atoms of chlorine. So overall, MgCl2 is made of three atoms, similar to water. Now, magnesium nitrate, we have one magnesium. And even though we think of nitrate, NO3, as a group for figuring out, you know, if we were crisscrossing and, and coming up with this compound ourselves, we have to look at the individual atoms of the individual elements. So nitrate itself is made of one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms. We just have two of those groups. So if you want to think of it, we never actually write it this way, but magnesium with a nitrate and another nitrate. So when I write it out like this, which again, I would not suggest you doing, it's, but it's easier to see, oh, I have two nitrogens and three plus three, six oxygens. Um, what I actually suggest you doing, rather than writing things out an excessive number of times, is realize that what's happening is this two is multiplying by whatever numbers we had inside the parentheses. It distributes two times whatever um, nitrogens I had. So I had one times two and two times the number of oxygens, six. So I have nine atoms in magnesium nitrate. I could ask you more specifically, well, how many oxygen atoms are there? Well, six oxygen atoms were part of my nine atoms total. Uh, potassium sulfide. Just from the name here, I can't actually tell. I need to look at the charges, crisscross, come up with the formula, and then I can do it. So potassium is a plus one, sulfur is a minus two, K2S, two potassiums, one sulfur, three atoms. Aluminum oxide, aluminum is a plus three, oxygen is a minus two, so aluminum oxide, if I crisscross, is Al2O3, two aluminums, three oxygens, five atoms total. Go try.